qualified scientist. So, they are uh, they are required for some projects. Complete forms two, which is the quali qualified scientist form, and qualified scientist also should have a doctoral professional degree related to the to student research or have applicable experience and expertise with review and approval by the SRC. Okay, so your qualified scientist should be related to your study in terms of qualification. Okay, next. Ah, question. Ah, say, for example, your your father is uh, an engineer, and your study is uh, is all about life sciences. So, is your father can serve as a qualified scientist? Okay, so it it is uh, no. Again, a qualified scientist should have a degree related or experience related to your uh, research project. Next. So, this will be the ones to be filled up by the qualified scientist form. This is attached in the ICEF International Rules and Guidelines. Na PDF uh, reference natin. Next. How about designated supervisors? Who are these? And what are their rules? Uh, roles and res responsibilities. Okay. So, supervises projects involving hazardous chemicals, activities, or devices. Supervises projects requiring a qualified scientist when the qualified scientist cannot directly supervise the student. For vertebrate animal projects, an animal care supervisor is required. So a designated supervisor is uh, another person or adult on top of the qualified scientist. So, um, so, so in the absence of the QS, she will or he he will be the one to uh, what do you call it? Supervise you. Next. Institutional Review Board, IRB. So, reviews human participant studies. Membership must include an educator, a school administrator, someone knowledgeable about evaluating physical and or psychological risk like MD, PA, RN, psychological, uh, psychologist, licen licensed social worker, or licensed clinical professional counselor. So those are uh, I I R B. This they are for human participant uh, review co uh, review. Next scientific review committee SRC so they are the ones who uh, reviews some projects before experimentation so uh, your research proposal is subject to the approval of the scientific review committee reviews all projects just prior to competition so again prior to uh, division level or regional level, national level, international level, your paper or your research project will undergo a review from the SRC. The members of the SRC, a biomedical scientist with an earned doctoral degree or an educator, one other member. Okay, so in our case, in our school, sa local, uh, the science teachers are the SRC. Okay. Next. Combined IRB and SRC. So, membership must include those I have mentioned already, no? 
a biomedical scientist with an earned doctoral degree, a school administrator, say let's say our principal, an educator, your science teachers, someone knowledgeable about evaluating physical or psychological risk, mentioned already. So those are the combined RRB and SRC. Forms required for all projects. So th this will be uh, during your grade nine, you will uh, prepare these forms. No, but in grade eight, uh, we don't we don't have the, these forms yet. Well, so let's just say maybe we can have this as a sort of practice, but not for actual uh, compliance to the uh, SRC requirements or RIB approval. Next. So we have here checklist for adult sponsor. Ito yung para sa adult sponsor nyo. Usually, uh, ang adult sponsor can uh, can be your parent. Uh, uh, na, uh, na, the designated supervisor can be your parent. No? But the adult sponsor usually, uh, normally in our uh, setting, are the science teachers or research advisor or research teachers. Next, student checklist 1A. So, this is your uh, entry. You have your student team leader and your details here. Next, research plan or project summary. The research plan is the, uh, that is on top of the your final paper. So, research plan is required for all projects okay should include uh, incorporate all the relevant topics listed in the instructions and should summarize what was actually done in the project so sa research plan you, you will uh, of course the research plan is uh, the your uh, onset of your research now before you you conduct the research you should have the research plan and that is also required attachment to when uh, submitting when when participating to uh, sa affiliated science fair no so the uh, submit mo dyan, ka research plan and then yung final paper mo okay next so this will be the research plan form And next, then approval form. So this is to be uh, completed by the IRB or the SRC. No? Next, studies conducted at a research institution, industrial setting, or any work site other than home, school, or field require form 1c for example you plan to conduct your s your research project in uh, research institution or uh, uh, ri rri or uh, research re related institution or industrial setting yung mga commercially available na mga laboratories so you need the forms 1c Example ng research institution, laboratory ng Ateneo, ng Tagum Doc, like that. Or DOST. So, a regulated research institution. Yan, regulated research institution. So, this will be your form here. RRI. Okay? Just to correct. No? Next. Continuation or research progression studies. So these are uh, research project that is uh, continuation with the previous study. You know? So current project based on prior research in the same field of, the, of study. You know? Then the current project b based on prior research in the same field of study. Okay. Next. Longitudinal studies are permitted. No. Multi-year study, studies, time-based change, 
but it requires form 7 so it is allowed but it requires form 7 so this is a uh, what is needed if it's your it's a continuation or research progression projects so title then uh, changes in methodology things like that and so on and so forth next human participants so what are human participant studies human participant studies involve living individuals where there is intervention or interaction with participants and or collection of identifiable private information so yun ang mga human participants meron kang uh, ginawa intervention sa kanila or meron ka interaction sa kanila so that uh, they they will be your human subjects or participants and so with collection of their data so. next exempt studies that do not require IRB review or human participant forms so ito yung mga gum, uh, gamit ka ng mga human subject but exempted sa review board ng uh, institutional again ang institutional review board they are in charge for human participants sila yung mag review sa project no? testing of student design invention or prototype Okay, so if you are doing this, uh, no need for IRB or human participant forms. Ayun, uh, invention or prototype. Student researcher is the only one doing the testing. Ayan. Kung si, si student researcher is himself, herself, is the only one doing the testing. No health hazards. So, uh, no identifiable uh, risk for health. Ayan. No personal data collected. So, uh, no no personal data, yeah. Feedback directly related to product. So, for example, usability testing, uh, ease of use, may nanyan, uh, ano pa, user feedback, so, which is directly to product, no need of requiring IRB approval or human participant form. Another is studies using pre-existing publicly available human data. So, for example, uh, you just uh, you just uh, acquire a database of uh, of public data. So, wait, mga human, for example, uh, mga average height na available naman sa uh, sa DOH mga ganyan, no? or sa any available agencies that are publicly given so no need of RIB approval IRB next additional exam studies yeah uh, this is also uh, if your study is a behavioral observations in unrestricted public settings so parang pang, pang ano lang uh, social experiments mga ganyan lang no uh, yung uh, uh, no interaction wala ka namang ginawa no no manipulation of environment hindi mo naman sinet up yung environment so hindi pala social interaction parang ay hindi social experiment parang social observation lang talaga no? no recording of any personal identifiers so uh, again the, this study is just uh, observing uh, what do people do naturally in the in the community or in the identified place mga ganyan okay so, wala kang binago sa la, sa sa setup no. Sa variables kubaga. O wala kang uh, manipulated variables yan. Studies using certified or de-identified anonymous data, okay? So, uh, exempted pa rin yan sa RIB approval even though the data uh, comes from human participants but uh, these are anonymous data and certified they identified so uh, readily available so no need of RIB approval and even human participant forms next human participants research so if you're doing human part participants research these are uh, 
to take note. The, IR, the IRB must review and approve the research plan before experimentation begins. So again, mga IRB, yung merong psychologist, doctor, and merong institutional head, ganyan. Research participants 18 years of age or older must give informed consent. So, kailangan ng informed consent. Then, research participants under 18 must give assent. And their parents may be required to give written per permission. So, assent is a intention to participate. Kumbaga, no? Okay, so that is uh, to take note when you do res human participant research. Another, the IRB evaluates the project and determines the risk, the risk level. Okay, requirement for qualified scientists or designated supervisors. So uh, the IRB will determine that now. Requirement for written informed consent. Assent and parental parental permission. Okay, so again, the RIB will recommend this uh, portion here. Okay. Next, risk evaluation. So how does this one here, the risk level determined by the RIB and even the researcher, no, the student researcher. No more than minimal risk. Okay, so anticipated harm and discomfort not greater than encountered in daily life. So, uh, yung uh, discomfort that they will uh, anticipate the harm and discomfort ay uh, very minimal, no? Mm, not, not greater than encountered in daily life. Then, more than minimal risk. This risk are uh, anticipated harm or discomfort is greater than encountered in daily life. Then we have also more than minimal risk studies should require written consent, assent, and parental permission. Final determination for this requirement made by the RIB. So as much as possible, yeah, as a student researcher in your level, we are advised to do, if you, if you plan a human participant research, in a no more than minimal risk level. If you do more than minimal risk level of research, you have to, uh, you have to uh, comply with these uh, uh, forms and procedures determined by the RIB. Next, type of risk, physical risk. So, exercise, ingestion, tasting, smelling, application of substance, exposure to PHBA or uh, potentially hazardous material, those are physical risks. For example, uh, meron kang uh, formula, uh, formula na ipa te taste mo sa human participants or meron kang na formulate na uh, let's just say for example lotion na ipa-apply mo sa participants so those are physical risk psychological risk okay of course those are to be determined by uh, um, uh, qualified scientists or those uh, members of the IRB, no? Invasion of privacy. Again, no, Data Privacy Act, according to Data Privacy Act, no? That mga in, uh, information about the young participants are, is considered risk, no? Participant is a member of an at-risk group. Okay. So, those are types of risk. Physical, psychological, invasion of privacy, and Participant is a member of a trace group. Expedited review. Mm. When you say expedited, uh, what, uh, what is a simple word with that? Hasten, no? Or, 
Yeah, hasten. Yeah. IRB, I, IRB may elect to do an expedited one member review. No? Siya isa lang, kumbaga. And ma, ma, madali ang review, kumbaga. No? Can only be used for projects where human participants test the functionality of a student design invention. So, pwede lang, isa lang si RIB, no? Provided with no health or safety hazards, no personal data is collected. So, this is very common and this is, uh, is okay to do common to student research, mga invention and prototypes. The student researcher is the only subject of the research that involves no more than minimal risk. For example, si, si student researcher ang nag-device, nag nag-formulate ng uh, say formula or nag-design nag ng device, gadget, or innovation, then siya lang din mag-test. And provided that it, it belongs to, the, the, ri the risk belongs to no more, no more than minimal risk. So, pwede na siya ma-expedite ma uh, in terms of the, the review, no? pwede isa lang ang mag-RIB. Mag Isang member lang. Next. Okay, so we have here, IRB decisions are documented on Form 4. Yan. So, mana Form 4, human participants. Then, meron tayo dito mga RIB signatures and kanilang mga assessment. Okay. If IRB determines that written informed consent or assent or parental permission is required, documentation is obtained on an informed consent document. Okay. So, we have informed consent document. This one here. Kailangan fill up yan na pumapayag si human participants. Mga ganyan. Okay. So, so, let's just continue this uh, in the next video. In the meantime, uh, after viewing this video, you answer in our LMS questions and activities regarding the discussed topic for today's video. So, if you have questions, clarifications, just comment in our GC or uh, PM me directly for your uh, for the answers or for for your questions and clarifications to be answered that's it goodbye uh, goodbye class and see you in the next video